Hi, it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to my haul video on the road in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, which is right outside Milwaukee, and a recent retail side haul. So the first item up is the Brush Up Cosmetic Case, sorry, Iconic Brush Up Cosmetic, in Moonlight Garden. So this is kind of like the train case shape, but it's bigger. Sorry, it's not stuffed, it's flattened out, but the top part has like, you can put your brushes or other things. You can put a lot of things in the mesh area. But the reason I got this is for the main compartment, which is a double zip main compartment, and this big space down here. Great for like travel medicine, whatever. Or just holding a lot of things in one place. Very good size, rectangular shape, and beautiful pattern. So that's the iconic brush up cosmetic case. And the next item, now this is a little bit tricky because it's the iconic medium cosmetic. And actually, when I ordered this and went to pick it up, they had the wrong piece set aside for me. No fault of their own, but there are two items that have the exact same name, a different skew, but they are actually two different items. So, let me pull out the other item real quick. So, you know the cosmetic cases, the iconic ones? This one is the mini, but it's the same style. You know, you have the zipper pocket on the front and the main pocket. Okay, so that's your iconic cosmetics. There's mini, there's medium, and there's large, and then there's the little mini dome cosmetic. But that's a regular one. This comes in a medium. I already have the medium, as you may recall from that haul video. But this other one is that clear vinyl covered cotton one. So it's like a regular cotton pattern like this, but the plastic is on the outside. And also plastic lined. So it's an interesting new thing. It's not the first pattern this came out in, but I wanted to give it a try since this is one of the patterns I really love. It's just another storage piece. It might keep things more protected, like um, put this in one of the waterproof bags or something. I don't know. I just thought that I could think of things to use it for. I'll give it a try. So this is the first time I'm trying this type of product. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But word of caution, same name. So if you're ordering on the phone, make sure you're ordering the correct thing. All right. Next up, and again, as usual, no particular order, but I did get the VBU all-in-one. I don't think that's what it's called. Sorry. Can't find the tag, though, now. There it is. The VBU RFID Compact Crossbody. I do already have the regular crossbody, but this is more of the all-in-one style. It has a slip pocket on the back. The front comes all the way down. It does have a snap, clear ID. Big slip on the front with the wristlet strap. Well big enough for the phone or whatever else. And then it's got one slip or one zip pocket, unlike the regular ones, and it's got all the pockets. There's the crossbody strap. Two card slots on each side, and then the zip in the middle with two big slips behind the cards. So a lot of utility in this. Easily fits and it's cotton, but it's somehow different than the regular cotton. I still can't figure it out, but I do love the VBU and the Petite Garden pattern is one of my favorites. So in that same pattern and same fabrication, I got the VBU backpack. And if you're not familiar with the VBU line, um, it's VBU, like the letters. But then when you get the tags, let's see, VBYOU. So it's a little different. I don't know. What, I think it sounds like Vera Bradley U, like your, I don't know why, whatever. I like the collection though. Not big as on the grays, but there's the inside gray, some of them are the other. But just a simple backpack, it's got this one slip here, it is padded, so you could use that for a tech. It's not as padded as the normal tech pouches. It has one zipper on the front. And you'll notice on all of the Petite Garden pieces, they have these metal zippers, or what looks like a metal zipper. This is not, I repeat, not that iconic metal zipper that we all hate. This is what looks like metal, but it's actually very sleek very smooth it's not scratchy they're great zippers so yay on that um, the other thing is the tabs and tags are these like faux leather this one looks like a ribbon style but faux leather there's two pieces to that sorry there it goes and the the little Ver Bradley tab so it's like embossed in there so anyways two slip pockets on the side very simple bag it's a medium-sized backpack but I think it will have a lot of utility then there is, if you have not heard, the Hadley backpacks are retiring, so that style is going away and is being replaced by something totally different. 
in about the same size. But all based on that and the, the sale, um, I decided to get the Hadley Backpack in Butterfly Flutter. This was a pattern I had passed on. It is a breast cancer pattern. You can tell by the pink tag. So it was worth supporting the good cause and to get one more Hadley before they're gone, gone, gone. So if you're a fan of Hadleys, scoop them up. They're going, going. So anyway, that's a nice backpack. I still don't see how the interior of that pattern matches. We'll see in a second anyhow. I also grabbed the accordion wristlet in that pattern. I actually grabbed two of these, but this is the first. It has a slip on the back, and when you open up that main pouch, it there's that pattern. I don't see how it matches, but anyway. There's one, two, three slips on each side here and a big slip behind it. Big open space, zipper pouch, big open space. A phone slip, if you will, although my phone does not exactly fit in there with the Vera case on it, but it does fit in the regular slots or in between. And again, two slips and a big slip behind. So nice opening up. You can really get into every part of that wallet. So I'm going to give this a try. These two are my first two of these. Um, the second one is Vines Floral. And it has that trim pattern. On these wallets, the ones with the trim patterns on them, it does go all the way around the middle. I have had a heck of a time with these because when you look at them, the trend is you have like big flower part of the pattern, small flower on the other side. I don't know if that's purposeful, but it does seem like it is because that's how I'm seeing them all. But sometimes it gives you a visual illusion. It makes this middle thing look like it's skewed to one side. Also, this particular trim pattern has these skinny lines, so if it's not sewn perfectly straight, it gets this like wavy look to it. And actually, this one looks really good, but it has been a long time coming to find one that didn't drive me nuts so with like OCD looking at it going crazy. So this one actually is pretty well balanced pattern anyway. It does still look a little crooked to me, but it's going to work. It's going to work fine. And the inside... It's the same as we just saw, except it's the Vines floral interior. So that's cool. I do like that, and I'm looking forward to trying out these wallets. I do hope I like them since I bought two, but we'll see. All right. I also bought a Pretty Posies sunglass case. Pretty straightforward. Nice pattern. I got the Moonlight Garden Diddy Bag. So I'm rounding out the Moonlight Garden collection, as you can see. It is the iconic style. So it, it does have the, the poles that are tagged at the bottom connected. So you can use it like a little knapsack. And the plastic, as you know, inside is not tethered on the bottom. So it can turn inside out. Next item, so these little scent sheets. Next item is a medium cosmetic in Gloxinia Purple. Um, I don't have very much in this pattern, but I think it matches very nicely with the Petite Gardens. And since the Petite Gardens does not come in a lot of accessory type things. That is my workaround for that. It also goes very nicely with Bramble and also, and here you go, Lilac Medallion. It's a great Bridger, that Gloxinia Purple. Actually, huh, I hadn't looked at this yet, but guess what? It goes with Dream Diamonds too, so that's nice. So, ooh, okay. Then I got the iconic luggage tag, Moonlight Garden. This is not for a backpack. I've already rounded out all the backpacks in that pattern, but I did get another Weekender because, you know, I needed one. Um, and then I got the Wisteria Lighten Up Lanyard that goes with a bunch of things, not the least of which is the Wisteria Zip ID. But the last item, I got the iconic Deluxe Weekender Travel Bag in... Moonlight Garden. So if you're not familiar, these are, it's a regular weekender, but it's a little bit different. You'll notice right away the vertical striping. This material feels different. I assume it's the same freaking cotton material, but because of the stitching or for whatever, it feels like a jersey knit is what it feels like. But anyway, I really, really like it. I think it looks sharp and it is different. So it's like the same as all the other stuff, but it's something different. What I really, really like about it though, is the strap drop. So if I want to carry it over my shoulder, I can actually put it on my shoulder and carry it and brace it with my hand. Um, it does, of course, have the regular shoulder strap that's adjustable and padded and whatnot, but I think that is a really nice thing. 
It does have the trolley sleeve, which has the zipper, so you can use it as a sleeve, or you can zip that and use it as a slip pocket, two slip pockets on the side. It has that pseudo secret pocket on the corner, which you can put your boarding passes or your phone, your quick access, and just, it's a weekender, so the rest of it's just normal. But So, my plan was pack everything in the weekender, put the backpack in the suitcase, and see if I can make it home without having to ship anything. I'll let you know, but not today, because I gotta figure out everything and then go to bed. But thanks for watching, that's all for this one. Take care, bye for now.